good morning everyone welcome back to my channel and happy friday cheers to the weekend we're gonna get it started off right we're gonna go work out zane's gonna stretch and we just like to have our morning chats while we get our things done i just took my morning supplements and such got into my workout clothes and we're ready to start this day off right it is not even 9 a.m yet so let's get it going i love when i start my day off early and get things done so we're off to a good start already. Let's go. I am wearing a Fabletic sports bra and Yogalicious leggings. And today is a HIIT workout. So I wore like a sports bra that's, you know, more for um, high intensity. So less painful. You know what I mean? Let's go. Morning. Come on, we're going downstairs. Actually, I need a hair scrunchie. Got it. And I need to wash this hair today. She needs it. You know what? I'll bring the Kindle too. Sometimes I can squeeze in some reading while I work out. That was so rude. Workout complete. The landscapers just came and it is time to water the plants. I need to stay on top of it, okay? Also, we vacuumed our pool yesterday, so it brought up kind of like the dirt and stuff, but that's why it looks a little cloudy, but we shocked it. And we also, exciting, ordered a like robot vacuum for the bottom of the pool. It's gonna be so convenient and it was on like a major sale on Amazon, so excited about that. But yeah, let's water the plants and get these floats back in. I'm gonna clean them off with the hose before I put them back in the pool. Oh, this one's not looking too hot. She needs some love. Please don't die. <laughs> Getting work done with the babies. <laughs> vlog is live and i was just about to post it on my instagram story and then i was like wait a minute i want to make like a cute little like template so i just made one on a pick monkey real quick and i feel like it'll make my instagram story look better because i just like screenshot the video and then i put like a white background because that's how it comes in text otherwise you would see like white around it if that makes sense it kind of doesn't but whatever it doesn't matter <laughs> Zane here so yeah I'm gonna put like the video thumbnail here and then like put what is in it there so I'm gonna post that Zane is here to pick me up I'm just putting on a quick sweater tonight is his little sister's high school graduation and she asked if we can order food and hang out here after which is so cute that she loves our house I think that's adorable um so I figured I'd do a little something for her so I'm like let's fill the propane tank for the fire pit and I'll get stuff for s'mores because she loves s'mores. Oh my god, I have to fill out her card and put the money in it. We have to do that too. But she loves s'mores. It's like one of her favorite desserts. So I figured we could do that for her. That would be cute. So we're gonna go get the stuff for that and fill the propane tank. Let's go do it. Socks and sandals, baby. By the way, Zane was out doing something. That's why he's coming to pick me up. That sounded weird, I realized. Like what? Why is he picking you up? Oh, it's raining gross outside. At least it's warm. First stop, Lidl, we're gonna get the stuff for the s'mores. Chocolate? How many you think for all of us? Like six? I think that's, that's enough, right? Cause I think people use like half a bar, I feel like, don't? No? Let's grab these, they're bigger, no? They're way bigger. Oh, but they're thick. I don't think we need that much, you know what I mean? Like thin little chocolates. It's about the science of a s'more. What if we run out? You'll eat it! <laughs> 
kidding. Jeez. Extra chocolate? <laughs> Marshmallows? If they were smart, they would have put the graham crackers right here. I'm freezing. Just for good measure. Graham crackers. Thank you Done. for shopping at Lidl. Propane tank check. <laughs> Zing strapped it in. <laughs> we ain't losing her. Yeah, I don't want it to roll around. <laughs> yeah. It's more time. Right now? Should we just why not? No one's stopping us. This is true. There are no rules. <laughs> Got all the stuff for the s'mores and then we threw in a few of our faves. These salt and vinegar chips, so good. I love these lemon fiber bars and lemon seltzers. Now we're gonna have some lunch and then I'm gonna take a shower. I do have delicious HelloFresh tacos in the fridge, but I've decided to save those for tomorrow because I know I'll be really happy with myself. It just works out better. Tonight we are ordering in so I want to eat a little bit lighter rather than like heavy tacos, you know, so I'm gonna have those tomorrow And I wanted to finish up the leftovers that we had some eggs some beans I put some arugula which is like going bad, but I'm trying to pick through it um, I made this the other day and it was really good actually yesterday I had it It's like a little breakfast bowl brunch bowl and then I've been loving this cilantro lime sauce So I'm gonna just put some of that on top That and then Cholula And it's actually pretty good literally just Eggs, black beans, arugula, and some sauce. You could do like quinoa too. Yum, yum. Gonna take a little midday break. Watch an episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine together. You guys, I'm so proud of my new little slate. It came out so cute. Next time I'll probably put like little gifs at the bottom. I feel like if I put like a little stack of pancakes or something, that would be adorable, but I think it came out cute. Okay, we are getting ready to head out to Aaliyah's graduation. I am just wrapping up my makeup. I was actually planning on washing my hair and doing it fresh, but then the graduation got moved 30 minutes earlier because of like rain and stuff. And then I was looking at it and I'm like, eh, dry shampoo. So I dry shampooed it and I curled it with a curling iron, which lasts a lot longer lately. I am struggling with the Dyson Air Wrap. I think I'm doing it when my hair is too dry because you're not supposed to do it when your hair is too wet, but also if you do it when your hair is too dry, obviously it's not gonna hold at all. So I need to get back in my groove because I was using the Dyson Air Wrap for so long and I was loving it and with my extensions in too. So I just need to um, figure that out again. I'm gonna do it next time when my hair is more damp, but yeah, so I just curling ironed it and dry shampooed. It's cloudy and just wet outside and and we have to leave in literally a few minutes. So when in a rush, when in doubt, play it safe. Always jeans and a black top. So I think that's what I'm gonna go for with some sneaks. Keep it simple, casual. If it was a beautiful sunny day, we could have gotten into like a little summer fit, but it's not. So that's the plan. We'll see Aaliyah graduate. We'll come back to the house. We'll order some food. We'll make some s'mores. Oh, the card. Babe, my love. Yeah. Can you go downstairs and get the graduation card? Yeah. Before I keep forgetting. Luckily, we have some cash. That's what I figured we'd give her because honestly, could we have gotten her like something cute, like a piece of jewelry or something? But she's going off to college and I feel like if I was going off to college, I would want the cash. She has so much jewelry and I know people have certain styles. So like what if she didn't want to wear it and it would be like a waste and I would get her like a nice piece of like real jewelry. So, mm. I decided against that and we were like, let's just give her cash. What 18 year old doesn't want cash? A little bit of chapstick. I still have to run through my hair a little bit. I was just letting it set. You wanna fill it out? Yeah, go for it. A little bit of lipstick. I am running this lipstick to the ground, like scraping the sides. If I'm still getting color on my lips, it's not ready to go in the garbage, you know? Sarah needs some volume at the top. After I get dressed, I'll uh, zhuzh it up. Final look, like I said, it never fails me. I always just feel so comfortable in this. So we got Abercrombie jeans. This um, shirt jacket thing is from Zara. And then I'm just wearing like a square neck bodysuit with my Supergas. Got the Lulu bag. You already know I snuck my little Kindle in here and I have my phone, hand sanny. I got into the book that I'm reading right now and I really love it. So if there's any downtime while we're waiting for it to start, you already know I'll pull out my Kindle, I don't care. Oh, Sunny's to complete the look. Definitely the cat eyes. That's, that's the vibe. This was so much fun. Rihanna, Laura, Sandy. I've tried my best to be conscious of it every day. Congratulations! Woo, 
you guys we are back from the graduation look at this hair it is so humid and musty outside my hair just immediately frizzed up but we're back now the fam is slowly getting here and for dinner Aaliyah wanted wings so we are setting up in here i just went ahead and chomp chomp and lint rolled all of these chairs let's try to fix the lighting please hold because the cats sit on here so i was like everyone's ass is gonna be full of cat hair so we cleaned those off we got plates we got the forks we got the, the cups i wiped down the table um jerry makes the best rainbow cookies ever i don't like rainbow cookies but i love hers so we have leftovers from father's day my dad's favorite and we'll bring all the wings in here <sighs> smells so good benj you will not be joining yay exciting it's so exciting to have like i don't know just to like have our house and be able to host all of our family it's so exciting to me. I mean, I love like the basement, like Zane and Imani just went downstairs to like make a little drink. We have the bar down there. Peaking, peaking in life. Oh my goodness. We all just took some pictures. We threw up a little decor that I had left over. Look at the little graduate. Aww. We decided to keep it inside and we made them in the air fryer. Life hack. Beautiful. Everyone is gone. It is 12.05. It is bedtime. I've got my Kindle. I've got my hatch on. And I'm going to bed. See you tomorrow. Morning, love. Morning, love. Oh, the pets are so good. Oh, so much love. Oh, I'm sorry. But still, so much love. You kind of spook me when you do that. So good. Oh, the head. Okay. <laughs> nice after Zumba shower. Sign me up. Goody, good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Had a lovely morning. I read my book in bed. We went to Zumba. I actually took my neighbor with me, and she loved it, which was so fun. And then I came home and took a nice self-care shower. Oh. Feel amazing and it's gonna be a great Saturday so let's open up these blinds get some natural light up in this house beautiful I knew future me would be so happy about this and I am I saved my HelloFresh taco leftovers for today <laughs> and I'm so excited very happy Alyssa You said you guys are getting sushi tomorrow? Yeah, you want some? Maybe, yeah. Ooh. I feel like I've been craving sushi lately. Yeah, sounds so good. We've got things to do today. So we're gonna eat right now, take a little chill pill, and then I'm actually gonna edit. I usually don't edit on the weekend, but Zane and I are going to a little getaway Monday and Tuesday for his little sister's college. Do you know what it actually is? There's a name for it, and I forgot what it is, but it's like, like a, essentially um, we get to just see the college like like what do they call when you're going to high school and you have like a yeah like a like a you just on the tip of my tongue it's not a seminar it's like no a, like a um an introductory yeah it's something with an eye okay a i have no idea okay anyways something for earliest college we're just going to support her you know and we're here for the road trip so we're going to connecticut for monday and tuesday <laughs> So I have an upload on Tuesday, so I wanna try to like make sure that's like prepped and ready to go. So I'm gonna edit today. I still have tomorrow a little bit to edit, um, but I'm having my friend Brenna come over tomorrow. We're gonna binge watch Love Island with some sushi. So I wanna try to get my stuff done today. So edit, um, clean the house, like a quick vacuum wipe down, and then we're gonna do a fun dinner tonight. I'm gonna do a chopped challenge with you guys. Basically, Zane is gonna give me three ingredients and I have to have to make something up out of it. So that would be fun. Figured I'd do that with you guys. You guys said you missed the chopped video, so why not? And that's what we got on the agenda today. But first, tacos. It's a shirt you would see at Forever 21, but first, tacos. Oh, literally. <laughs> Which cheese is this? Do you remember? This is Mox. That's Mox. The smaller one is Swiss. Both American. I thought you were American. Oh my god, I love me right now. The question is, are you going to make the chicken part of your ingredients, or am I just going to get to use it? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to find out. You have to tell me in advance how difficult you want it to be, too. 
What do you mean? I just want you to do whatever. Well, part of being like the chop challenge is to make it difficult. Yeah, so whatever okay. you can come up with. All right. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Zay made himself some eggs over there. And we're gonna watch uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And then I'm gonna get myself to editing. I have to force myself to go do it because I just wanna get it done. We were just like, so peaceful. We were just like, so peaceful. So, oh, so, oh, so happy we ended right? Oh, got it. The twins actually, it's actually crazy. Oh, wait. Everyone's gonna right now. Yeah, I know. Thank you so much. Okay. Can you help me? Yeah, hold on. Packages. You can buy some truly. Yeah, what do we get? This might be PR. No, you know what that might be? Why is that truck making that sound? That might be for my brand deal. Uh huh. I saw it. it. Looks like a good length. <laughs> Why is it folded? It's gonna be so hard to let get it to lay flat. Oh, oh she got a rug God. that's not juiced. It's like Christmas. I'm gonna put it in here. Okay. Wow, lots of fun stuff. Updates, everyone. I just got most of the vlog for Tuesday edited, and it is Saturday, so love that for me. I have a few little clips left, and then obviously rewatch them now all that fun stuff but i could do that in the morning or later tonight we'll see what we get up to because it's still quite early it's only 5 45 so we still the night is young we've got the whole night ahead of us i quickly blow dried my hair with my leaf in hair dryer with the like flat attachment so that it wasn't a frizzy mess it's still not the hottest but we're about to do a little casual chopped challenge i used to do these I've only been like four of them, I think, but I used to make them in their own video, and now I'm just like, it's not my jam. So we're gonna include it in a vlog, more vlog style, more cash. I'm sure you guys would prefer that anyway, hopefully. So let's do it. Zane is gonna pick three ingredients. He's gonna put them in that basket right there, and I have to make a meal out of them. We did defrost chicken. I don't think he's gonna make that part of his three things, but just in case I want to, including meat, they were all frozen. So we did that, and that's it. Now you're gonna pick three items. I'll leave you guys with him. I don't think I'm gonna include the chicken. Okay. I'll just leave that. So up if, to I, you. if I wanna use it. Yeah. Okay, bye. Get your booty out this of here. It's like old days. Aww. Bye, everyone. You have to go far enough where you can't hear me deliberate. Oh, you're gonna talk to the camera? Yeah, okay. of course. Um, we have a lot to discuss. <laughs> I'll go in the office. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I've been looking forward to this moment. I have a few things on my mind. Normally, the way I like to do this challenge, I like to not do the major stuff, like pasta or like chicken, uh, but more just pick like really weird ingredients that she has to incorporate. I said earlier on in this vlog, I don't know if she kept it in, but I was like, should I make it like semi easy? And she said no. She said no. So with that being said, one thing that I saw in this refrigerator here, sweet relish. I think this is interesting. I'm not a huge relish guy, but Lissa that she's been digging it recently. And I think the fact that it's like more for like hot dogs and stuff could be interesting. Nah, there's a cantaloupe up there. That might be too hard. But that's part of the challenge. There's also, hold up, marshmallows. <laughs> See like, listen, if this was chopped, chopped is ruthless. So maybe I'll do marshmallows. This is a potential contender. Let me see what else we got. Okay guys, I got, I was picturing that guy from Shop, Ted Allen. I got, first of all, I got zucchini, so that's number one. I feel like in all the episodes, he's like, they name kind of decent ingredients and then out of nowhere, they'll hit you with like, you gotta use candy or something. So, although now that I'm looking at it, is it too much green? I don't know. Listen, sweet relish, right? Kind of weird. Zucchini, which I feel like is, a, is in the cucumber family, potentially. But, with some marshmallows? I feel like this is a decent challenge. Let's do this. All right, baby, we're ready. The chef is back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm back. Although, what? No, I think no, they always pick from one basket. I don't want you to see all three of them at once. Okay, I will look. people in the show do. And I'll reach in. Relish! Zucchinis! And marshmallows! Why are you doing marshmallows? 
Because I was, I was telling them, I feel like on the show, they give you like semi-decent ingredients and then hit and you then with a random one. That's definitely a random one. I saw the marshmallows right behind where I propped up the camera and I was like, wait a second, that might be a solid option. That was on option. me. I should have put them in the pantry. Okay. I knew, because you mentioned that we were doing this chop challenge. I've been eyeing this relish for days. I'm like, the relish oh, is definitely going to be in there. Well, I love relish, so. See, I'm like, on you. meh on relish, but I also feel like. What else is on, or what else is used for relish besides hot dog? So I feel like it'll force you to get a little creative, you know what I'm saying? Relish, zucchinis, and marshmallows. That's tough. I feel like I picked a lot of side ingredients, so you'll have a lot to, um... Yeah. You'll have a lot of wiggle room, you know? That is very, very tough. We're gonna have to sit and think on this one. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go take a shower. Okay. I have been wanting to use these zucchinis, so... That works. Now's the part of the video where I just sit here and stare at these ingredients for like 10 minutes and come up with what I want to do. I've already got some things going in my head, so we're going to get there. So I will fill you guys in as soon as I figure that out. I am back. I think I've come up with what I want to do. We'll see how it turns out. I've decided on a mashed potato for like the bottom layer of the plate. And I will mix in sweet relish in with the butter and stuff into the potatoes to give them that kind of like acidic flavor. And then zucchini, I'm going to slice nice and thin and we're going to grill it on a pan with some probably just some olive oil, salt and pepper. I'm going to slice the chicken breast nice and thin. I'm going to cook the chicken breast with some seasonings, very simple seasonings on the stovetop. Literally, I might be boring and just do salt and pepper because I don't want too much going on here And then I'm gonna lay some zucchinis on top of the chicken And then I'm gonna slice the marshmallows really nice and thin and lay that on top of the chicken And I'm gonna use my food torch to torch the top of the marshmallows So it'll be like a sweet and savory piece of chicken over a bed of mashed potatoes And that's my idea. So let's see how it turns out. Let's start cooking <laughs> First, we're gonna get the pot of water boiling for our potatoes. I'm gonna peel them. I don't really mind mashed potatoes when they're not peeled, but I'm just gonna do it to make sure that they're creamy because we're taking a risk here. All right, I got the potatoes all naked. Now we're gonna give them a quick chop. Okay, I'm gonna just set those aside for a second. By the way, I'm not telling Zane what we're making, so he's just gonna be surprised. I like that. I do have a very rough idea. What? Based off what I see. Oh, you have a- mashed potatoes in the future. Oh, okay. That's it? That's, a, that's all you think? That's the only thing I could put together so far, yeah. Okay. I see mashed potatoes in my future. Let me rinse these. Okay. We're gonna chop this super nice and thin. Really, I could get out a mandolin, but we're not gonna do all that right now. We're just gonna chop. You know what I'm just thinking I could have done as well is melted the marshmallows into the mashed potatoes. That probably would have been good too. But then I would have had to shift and make something else with the relish. Maybe like a chicken sandwich, like a grilled chicken sandwich or something. But I don't have cool bread. We would need like sourdough for that. So we're gonna keep it with my original plan. Plus, I kind of want to use my food torch. That sounds fun. Oh, and obviously we'll have extra zucchini. I'm just gonna serve it like with the dish. Alrighty, all chopped. Water is about to boil, to be honest. I don't even know how long you boil potatoes for mashed potatoes, but I feel like like 15, 20 minutes. So we'll start with 15 and see how we feel. Okay, Google, set a timer for 15 minutes called potatoes. Ah. Okay. Ah. Ah. okay. Well, that got everywhere, but it is what it is. All right. Let's get a large skillet going on like a medium drizzle of oil. And now the zucchini are gonna get set aside so we can cut up our chicken so that we only have one dirty cutting board. I'm gonna cut the chicken right in half because it's definitely thick. I'm gonna use two pieces for the dinner tonight and then the other two pieces I'm just gonna meal prep. Some salt, pepper, and I'll do a little bit of garlic and onion powder. The only food I can think of when it comes to the marshmallows is s'mores or sweet potato surprise, which are both sweet things. And I'm like, what's on sweet potato surprise? But it's like brown sugar and oats. And I'm like, I don't know. Well, I could have coated the chicken in like an oat coating and did like a chicken cutlet. I don't know. <laughs> There's so many ways you could take this. We're gonna get the chicken going on the skillet and then I'll season the other side.
Hopefully these are doing swell, looking good. I might as well toss and season the zucchini while it's in a bowl. So we'll do a little olive oil, some salt and some pepper and a little bit of garlic powder. I have so many fun seasonings, but I'm just nervous about all these flavors. So I'm just gonna keep it simple. And he's having another lazy day. Yeah. <laughs> I like what I'm smelling. Yeah. Actually, you know what we should top the chicken with after we do the marshmallows? Where is it? Hot honey. Oh, yes, it's liquidy. I hate when it gets all hard. Look at the container from us doing hot water trying to fix it. I feel like that would bring the whole dish together. Add a little spice, <gasps> but like sweetness also with the marshmallows. Yes. You know what, executive decision here, since we got this stuff going, might as well speed up the process and we can just air fry the zucchini. Okay. Let's see what we wanna do here. I like a good 400, nice and crispy. We'll start with 10. We're gonna check our potatoes and put a fork into it. Oh yeah. Okay, I think they're done. I also need to check the chicken. I think we might be almost done here. Oh, that piece is done. Potatoes are gonna go in a nice big bowl. And I'm saving the water that we boiled them in in case I want to use it to make them a little more creamy. I'm gonna use my potato masher. Let's throw in some butter. And I'm gonna use the water from boiling them. A little bit of almond milk. A little bit more almond milk. And I think we got a good consistency. Now, start with half a tablespoon and see how I feel. That's the relish, by the way. Oh, it smells good, actually. Salt and pepper. I'm gonna do a little bit more potato water. I feel like I have to do another half tablespoon. Okay, so one tablespoon total of the relish. Because it kind of disappeared, and I feel like that defeats the purpose. Yeah, yeah. Get out of here. Sorry. I'm almost done. I'm sweating. All right, let's see how these potatoes taste. Huh. Consistency's good, but I don't taste the relish at all, so let's put some more. I did another tablespoon. More seasoning. I'll do some garlic and onion powder, too. Okay. Now, let's see. Okay, I'm not gonna overmix, because I feel like you can see the relish pieces, which is what I want. I want it to look like relish mashed potatoes. Let's try. Mm, better. Okay. Oh, yum, they're good. That is actually delicious. A little more salt, yum. All right. Okay, now it is all about the plating. Let's do this. Mashed potatoes. Are you sitting in the living room? Yeah, you want me here? No. Okay. I'm trying to get a peek. I'm not doing all the potatoes. We're gonna have leftovers for tomorrow probably because it's a lot. So I'm just doing half of the batch that I made, which is plenty, honestly, so. Let's smooth that down. Wow. Nice piece of chicken on each. Got our zucchinis. I'm gonna try to find like the bigger pieces and put those on top. Before I put the rest of the zucchini onto the plate, we are gonna torch the marshmallows so that we don't torch the rest of the dish. So I'm gonna take one and just slice it as thin as I can get it and then lay them on top like it's fresh mozzarella. <laughs> Really, it should be fresh mozzarella. That would go great with this dish, but you know, we're working with what we were given. I'm just glad that we didn't take out ground turkey to defrost. I'm glad we took out chicken because I don't know what I would have done with ground turkey at all. Okay, so it seems like one marshmallow for each dish is perfect. Oh my God, they're sticky. Okay, all right. I have only used this once, so let's see if I can do it again. Let's turn it on. There we go. Ready? You gotta get in on this. Oh my god, that's quick. Wow! They're on fire. <laughs> oh my god, that was so fast. What? Okay, that happened quickly. I was gonna film a video on my phone and I didn't even have a second. All right, smells like roasted marshmallows in here now. Now we will plate the rest of our zucchini around the edges, I guess. Listen, if this is terrible, this is all on him. <laughs> he gave me this. Last up is our hot honey. We're gonna do like half a tablespoon, I think. 
we'll start with that drizzle it on top yeah i think half a tablespoon is plenty there is my dish everyone <laughs> oh my god all right let's show zane and explain to him what it is we still have this on the wall from leah's graduation <laughs> Actually, let me take some pictures before I call him in here. You call me? Not yet. In like 30 seconds, though, so stay there. Okay. I'm sweating. My camera is dirty or what? All right, chef. <laughs> what do we got here? Okay, so we got some chicken and roasted marshmallows with zucchini and mashed potatoes. <laughs> Today I prepared for you mashed potatoes with some relish and other things mixed in. Okay. And some roasted zucchini on top of some freshly grilled chicken, on top of some torched marshmallows, finished with a hot honey glaze. Ooh. Okay. Are you getting some marshmallow in there? Yeah, let me get some marshmallow in there. Good call. Well, <laughs> it's not good. Maybe it was just that bite. Let me try again. No, it's not good. <laughs> the marshmallow is not good. It's burnt. You win some, you lose some. Try more. <laughs> just give it up. The marshmallows really were just threw me for a loop. Yeah. Mhm. Mm oh, I don't like the torch. It's the torch flavor. I use my torch. Oh, you did? Yeah, I don't like that flavor. Not a bad idea though to try to do like hot honey with the marshmallow. Yeah. I thought, well, to be fair, I feel like this is a cop out. What? This is what they always do in the chop. I feel like they get some shit like that, weird ingredient, and they just melt it down and then use the sugar for a sauce or something. Mm hmm. I was thinking about putting it in the mashed potatoes. Mm. Good thing I didn't make it its own video. Well, I didn't even try the mashed potatoes yet. Hold up. Oh, they're good with the relish. Mm hmm. It has like that pickly flavor. Wait a second. Mashed potatoes I tried. Those I know are good. Oh, it almost tastes like, uh, I don't know, I feel like this would be a good barbecue food. Like the relish with the mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that actually complements each other really well. Yeah, I like it. I mean, okay, so my final verdict is solid. Not the best chop challenge. The marshmallows. Terrible. The marshmallows are just thrown right on top, I feel. Not really blended into the dish correctly. <laughs> well, I was thinking like, what else would I have done in the mashed potatoes? I don't know. But I wanted to do the relish in the mashed potatoes. So what would I have done with the relish? Maybe you could have did the... Actually, no, it wouldn't work. Never mind. Then I was thinking, oh, should I do like a grilled chicken sandwich with relish? If we had sweet sauce? potatoes, you would have been yeah. golden with the marshmallows. I know. Well, at least with chopped, they have a full pantry at their disposal. We have whatever's yeah. in the house. I should have broiled it instead of doing my torch. The torch gave it a bad flavor. Yeah, my other thing was maybe I'll do a grilled chicken sandwich, make like a relish sauce, like how I did the Big Mac sauce. Yeah. And I could have done that and mashed potatoes with the marshmallows in it. But we don't have cool bread either. Well, I feel like, hold on, I'm just gonna get some salt. I think that the, um, I think marshmallows with regular potatoes would be kind of weird though. Yeah. You just really threw me off with the marshmallows. There's nothing savory about marshmallows. I know. This is the chop challenge. This, this isn't, is all your fault. This isn't, hey babe, make something really good with these regular ass ingredients. Yeah. Yeah, that torch gives food like a weird flavor. I don't like it when I use it. You're not going to use it though, huh? Mm. Or maybe my like stuff in there went bad, you know? Well, I feel like it gives it that smoky, burnt yeah, flavor, but like that's it. what a torch is for. I don't like it then. But you're just not a big fan of smoky flavors to begin with, so. Yeah. It makes sense. So he's going to get McDonald's on his way to his tennis. <laughs> I'm killing this whole place. <laughs> Are mashed potatoes easy to bake for you? Yeah. You like them? I feel like we don't have them enough. I really like mashed potatoes. Yeah. Just butter and salt. And relish now? I don't think I'd willingly put relish in my mashed potatoes. Really? Mm. Well, there you have it, guys. Don't try this at home. Not good. <laughs> that actually might have been the worst plate of food I've ever eaten. I'm so mad now. Now I'm just angry. I wasted my time. Waste of a meal. I could have had something so much better. But hopefully you guys were entertained because that was the point that you guys watched a chopped challenge so safe to say i have a feeling we won't be revisiting the chopped challenge concept for a while now because now i'm just <laughs> mad but we've got leftover mashed potatoes and grilled chicken for tomorrow at least we can have okay kitchen is nice and clean dishwasher is on
done, dishes are cleaned. Getting back on my computer, we've got a full sippy. I'm just gonna wrap up this vlog. Get it done. Turn on my lamp. I also have a haul that I'm gonna do for you guys tomorrow morning, so I'm gonna go through and sharpie my address off of all of it. But we've got a good pile here for you guys. It's gonna be a good one. It is way past my bedtime. My head was bopping on my computer, so I called it a night, made myself a bag of popcorn, and I got my Kindle. Zane just got home from tennis. He's about to hop in the shower, and we're heading to bed. Good morning, guys. It is a nice Sunday morning, and I've accumulated a lot of packages, mostly Amazon. I was a little bit Amazon happy the other morning, and I was like, I'm hitting order. So we've got a little haul, and I figured we could do a nice casual Sunday morning chill hangout together while we open our stuff. I'm gonna go through all the Amazon stuff first. And then at the end, I have like a few PR packages that I'll show you. First package is I wanted a nice pair of flip flops. I don't really have any. I used to get Old Navy all the time, but they've since been destroyed. I do not have one pair to my name. I'm definitely big on Birkenstocks. I love those, but sometimes you just want a casual flip flop. So I just got Javianas, I've heard a lot of hype about these and how they're comfortable and they're honestly pretty affordable So you know me I just Amazon them just simple black flip-flops. I guess I can make sure that they fit Yep, perfect. I got like a five six because that's what size I am so they fit great and they're like thin too So if you have a wider foot then maybe not but I think I got ones that said that they were thin They might have like other styles, but these are 35 36 Love them, perfect. Next up, ooh, we got a skirt. If you guys saw it in a recent vlog, I tried on my mom's skirt and I loved it. So I wanted to get something similar. This is like kind of the closest thing I could find. Oh my God, this just reminded me, I had a dream last night that we were somewhere and they had, it was like a flea market or something. And they had this skirt, just like my mom's, like two for $10. And I was like stocking up. I was like, oh, I want to get two of them. It was a flea market. I have like weird dreams and I don't remember them until something else triggers the memory, if that makes sense. Anyways, I got this one. I wanted the ruching up top and I wanted the slit at the bottom. So I'm of course going to try on all the clothes that I got from Amazon for you guys so that you can see on someone. So please hold. Okay, it's on. I haven't even looked in the mirror yet. So you guys are getting first look. What do we think? It's got the slit. It fits good. It's stretchy. I'm just wearing like a little bra top. This isn't like an outfit. I mean, I guess maybe it could be. <laughs> I'm going to go look in the mirror. Oh, it's cute. I'm not like a big floral person, but I feel like it's a subtle floral. It kind of just looks like a pattern from kind of far away, but it definitely has little flowers. The other one I tried on for my mom was definitely more flattering on the tush. This one, not so much, but it is what it is. Okay, cute. Let me know what you guys think. This one's a non-clothing item. I got another Colleen Hoover book. Never, never. To be honest, I had some stuff in my cart and it was like, add another da da da, and you'll get free overnight shipping. And it suggested a bunch of books to me. So it was like, okay, Amazon, you did your job, fine. This is one that I didn't own yet. So I haven't heard great reviews on this one, to be honest, but I need to finish every single book of hers because I just won't be able to chill until I do. So about that. This shirt I found from like a TikToker or an Instagram or I don't remember. I went on TikTok and I looked up like Amazon finds. So I'm pretty sure it was just like from a random girl on TikTok that has like those crazy giant Amazon storefronts. And she was like raving about these shirts. So they're just like plain t-shirts. I got one in black too. It's like a sporty material. I don't know how I feel about that. It feels kind of tight too. Oh. It's kind of nice, just like a casual piece to pair with stuff. It's kind of tight around my... Obviously, I wouldn't wear this black kind of bra thing underneath, but... And it's not cropped. It's like a longer length, I guess, so you can wear it with like a bunch of stuff. I don't know how I feel about this. Would I wear it? I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to think on that one. I did get it in black, so this might be it. Good guess. That was a good guess. I did place all this together too, and it all got sent in separate packages instead of one big one. Here it is in black, let's see. It almost feels like it wants to be that express top that I like, that material, but like Amazon version. I think this one is better. I feel like I would actually wear this, even just to pair with like a pair of jeans, just simple and it's comfy. I don't know about the white one though. I feel 
iffy about that one for some reason. Next, I went a little risky. I don't know if I'm gonna like this, but I got a set. The top just looks like this. It's got buttons in the back. And then the bottoms are like a flowy wide leg pant. I'm all for like the comfortable flowy outfits that I can just throw together, so let's see. Also, I have on no makeup and my hair is not done, so we have to like picture it done, you know, a finished product. Wait, this feels right. This feels like it might be cute. It's got pockets. I mean, I can't see any skin, so it's kind of just blending into itself. Let's go look in the mirror. I think this is another no. Oh, they make it look so cute on the models, and I got so intrigued. I think I'm just not a fan of this cut at the bottom. It's like too wide and short. It's not flattering me. Okay, moving on. These are gonna be good. You guys know those white linen pants that I've been wearing from Amazon? I got them in two different colors. The beige is not here yet, but these are the black. I got these from Sydney Adams. I don't know if you guys watch her or follow her, but she raved about them all the time. So I was like, okay, I have to try them. And I really do love them. The pair I have is white. I can't wait for the beige to come in the mail, but it doesn't say until like next week, I think, like the beginning of July. So we're gonna try on the black. Do you guys ever go through phases where you're like, oh my God, I love fashion, everything's great, things just look so cute on me. And then you go through phases where you're like, what is going on? Like nothing is working. <laughs> I think I'm having one of those periods where I'm like, not like period, but like period of life of, well also maybe that too, <laughs> that could be a factor. Um, where I'm like, my face ain't facing, the hair's not hairing, the clothes are not clothing. Like I'm just having one of those moments where I'm like, things are not looking right. That's human. It is what it is. Let's see. Hopefully these pants don't let me down because I love these pants. Yeah, I love these. They're just so comfy. They're easy to throw together. You just put them on with like a little top. Some sandals, some sneakers. I love them. I think the white will always have my heart for like summery. But who knows? Maybe I'll start to wear these even more. Okay, win. Thank Goodness, we gotta win. This should be the last clothing item, hopefully, because I've had enough now. Oh, it's like a long maxi fitted dress. Oh, it feels really nice. Really, I should just get the Skims one, but we'll try this one. Okay, it's on. I did have to tighten the straps a little bit. Let's see it in the mirror. Maybe I should have just done the try on in my closet. Wait, this is kind of nice. It's nice and flattering, I feel like. And I'm not even wearing shapewear, and I feel like it looks pretty good definitely a little bit long because i'm short but maybe like one wash and that would be better or i can just like bunch it up in like my stomach area to give a little more you know room i think this is cute and you can dress it down with like a pair of sneakers a little lulu bag and like a little like light shirt over it if needed i don't know if this needs a bra maybe just some like nipple covers i'd probably do I feel like pretty supported and I'm a D, so. I have two more packages from Amazon. This one, I have literally no idea what it is. Oh, this is not very exciting. It's a hose to backwash our pool. A nice backwash hose, Ben, isn't that exciting? I was like, it's heavy, I don't know what it is. Zane placed that order, but it automatically defaults to my name, I think, so that's why I was like, what did I order? Okay, love that. Here's a box bench. This last Amazon package I am so excited about. I got this from that girl's TikTok page too with those shirts, which were not really that much of a hit. So hopefully this is good. But Zane and I have been wanting like a nice olive branch tree for our living room. We got that one at, at home and it just wasn't the vibe. I might see if that one can go in the basement actually because we want greenery down there, but I don't know if it's too tall for the ceilings. But this one looked really good. We would just need to get a pot for it. Whoa! Oh, it goes on top. Interesting. Oh, and it came with a little moss to put on top. I mean, it looks pretty good. Looks like a fake plant, but if you like fluff it and stuff. Hold on, I think this might be good. Give it a nice fluff. Wait, this is pretty. I mean, it definitely looks like a fake tree, but you know, it is, so. It actually looks pretty in my office, huh? I mean, I think it's great, you guys. This is so nice. I might have to get another one, because Loki, I love it in my office. I would just get a smaller one. I got the taller one for the living room, but they make an even shorter one, which I think would look great in here. 
maybe like right next to my desk right here in this empty space but wow okay this was the best find of the day last three packages real quick two of them are pr this one is actually for a brand deal so i guess i won't open it but it's a brand like for the cats that i'm working with over on instagram and it's just a really cool opportunity so really grateful for that but i won't show you yet if you follow me over on instagram you'll see that soon next package this is pr from makeup forever which obviously i've purchased their products before it's always cool getting stuff from brands that you love so let's see what we got Ooh, how cute is this little bag this is perfect for traveling they had me fill out a form about my shades of foundation so uh, we got two shades and then like a mist a setting mist and then this what is this oh this is a powder foundation fun oh my god thank you so much makeup forever and i love this bag this is so nice this is a fun box you guys this is the brand it's called xo fetty they emailed asking if i wanted some stuff for like bachelorette activities and i was like um yeah they have such cute stuff on their website i've never heard of them and it's all like so affordable i was like are they sure so we got some fun stuff first up we got a towel and it says bride on it so fun these two items i actually got for my sister's bachelorette party i'm gonna pack them in my suitcase <laughs> you can tell what that one is and this one says same penis forever <laughs> did i say that on the internet i think so she's gonna love that let's see what we got in this one. Oh, i love this i was so excited about this look at this scrunchie it says mrs on it when i want to like put my hair up for my ride stuff next we got a pair of slippers these remind me of the ugg ones which i've never owned actually so excited to have these but they're white and then the thing back here says bride on it so cute of course had to get a sash this says bride to be i think that's so pretty i also got this curtain for my sister's bachelorette you guys can see it that's funny i just i just had to you know like how cute and all this stuff my sister can use too and then i'll just take it back from her and use it for my stuff i never really wear hats like this but i think they're so cute so i'd love to wear it on like a vacation but i do love my bucket hats and i thought this was so cute and simple just bride with the white i love it actually it's pretty big on my head but that's fine Maybe we can shrink it a little bit in the dryer or something. And lastly, I thought my sister would get a kick out of this too. So when she has her bridal shower here, I'm going to have her use this straw. It's a giant straw that says bride on it. And they have so much other cute stuff. So definitely check them out. Thank you so much for sending me all of these things. Like now I know a cute, affordable website if I need anything else. Love that. Last thing, look how cool. I just realized this little paper that came with the Makeup Forever stuff. The Ultimate Wedding Foundation. So they sent kind of like a trio for like the perfect long-lasting look. So I'm going to try that out. That will be great for like my sister's bridal shower and things like that that I'm not getting my makeup done for. When you need like a long-lasting thing in the hot sun, yes. I am going to tackle this mess when I get back. I'm going to get dressed and go to Zumba quick. I want to definitely get my movement in today because yesterday it was so fun. And I felt amazing after, so I want to do that again. I just threw the plant in the living room really quick just to see, like, the vibes. <gasps> it needs to be fluffed a little bit more, but it's so good. Like, once we get something going on that wall with that, and then we're going to set up the new rug when I get home from Zumba, too. Very exciting stuff, but I got to go. BRB. I'll see you guys when I get back. Okay, beautiful. Just got home from Zumba, went to the car wash, and now Zane and I are going to put the air conditioner upstairs. Um, my friend Brenna and I are gonna watch Love Island today. It's actually beautiful out So we decided to go by the pool first for a little bit, but then we're gonna watch TV upstairs I just love watching TV up there with my girlfriends. I think it's fun It's like a little like getaway apartment for us um, But it is sweltering up there So we need to put the air conditioner in the window get it flowing up there because it's gonna be hot and I thought it was gonna thunderstorm all day, but now it just says like a little bit of scattered. So that worked out, but yeah, let's get that done first. We have a few things to do before she comes over. So let's get it done so that we can chill and relax a little bit on this Sunday. Ooh, I already feel the heat. At least we left the windows open up here. That helped. Wish us luck. I think the last time you said it was on the left. I see an outlet right there. What about to the right? No, it's all the way over there. So it has to be the one on the left. This one. 
Just one second before you open it. So are we gonna just say fuck it to the bracket? Um, we can order one or get one in the next two days, but for right now, I would like to. I mean, for sure right now, cause you need it, but also like, there's no holes here. So yeah, I think so they I didn't even have, have it. I just did like a super fast Google search and it says, look, it says a properly installed air conditioner should sit securely in the window without an additional support bracket. Oh, ladybug, it'll be fine. Are you scared? I'm a little sketched out, but let's do it. It'll be fine. Just don't drop it out because then you probably have to go Start slow. Yeah. Alright, ready? Lift. Easy, easy. Okay, hold on. So we're rolling for this guy right here, right? Yes. Oh, two. If this needs to go right here, baby. Oh, okay. I think right there. Yep. Alright, sure? Yep. I'll just get my tape. It'll be perfect. Yeah, it's not going nowhere. You know what it is for me? It's just so simple. I'm like, how is it so I, uh, secure? Because this window is it's, so strong. It's the window and then it's this guy. Yeah. Just, it's a heavy ass unit though. Yeah. It's crazy. Alright, plug it in and see if it works. I'll get the tape. Good. I wonder, can we move it slightly to the left or no? You want to just tape this? Actually, I got it. That's perfect. Cool. Yay, Benji! No more sweltering heat. Meow. Now we just get the air conditioner tape and do all the little holesies and we'll be good. All right, it's all taped up. I use this from Amazon, so good. Looks a lot, but now no air will seep in. Okay, next thing that I wanna get done quick cause I'm just so excited to see it. And I wanna show you guys too. And I wanna show Zane. You can kind of get a sneak peek. I don't know why it came folded, so that's going to be probably a pain to get to lay flat. But after a while, it should even itself out. This one is going to go back into our bedroom. Clearly, it's too small. So we went with, we were going to do 14, and then we were like, oh, that's too big. So we did, I think, 9 by 13 or 10 by 13. And I just hope that it looks good in here. This is going to be kind of like a project to get this one out and get that one under. Yeah. So... Okay, so I think that we should just move the couch back entirely. I think we're gonna have to disconnect it because this is gonna be further back than this one. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm just like move it totally out of the way. <clears throat> I think so. Okay. Oh, what's that? <laughs> what? Cat toy. This is for my rice cooker. How did that get there? Oh, All he's right. got it in his mouth. It's in his mouth. How about disconnect it again? Lift. Oh, lift. He's got it in his mouth, babe. He's walking around the coil in his mouth. <gasps> I wonder where all those went. What's this? Oh, it went back under the camera. <gasps> so many toys. Oh my god. Christmas? Oh. <gasps> Sushi! Crinkle! You know there's a mouse! Oh my god, there's a jingle jingle! You guys hide all your toys under the couch! <laughs> More toys? Like how high do I have to look at this? Why is it not disconnecting? Maybe the other side. You probably do the other side. Yeah. It's like a system. <laughs> They're so excited with their toys. Oh, I should be getting a clip on my phone too. Oh, boy, we have a mini one. <gasps> I found my earring. I've been looking for this. For real? Yeah. Oh look, we have engagement shoe pedals for when I propose to you. Aww. A little contact to the care for the sick. Found myself in a shit position. <laughs> But also dark would look nice. I don't know. And then the coffee table that we have coming is like a light wood. We're about to find out. All right, let's do it. They do free returns though, this website I saw, if you don't like it. <laughs> ah! Okay. Ooh. Oh, wait, no, come here, come here, come here. Is it cool toned? No. Look. It's supposed to be warm. Look. 
What? Rug, couch, photos. Look how good that looks. It does look good. Yeah. It's not ultra warm, but it's not like super cool. No, it's supposed to be warmer. Bailey loves it too already. Except you gotta move, Bailey. Bailey, watch out! Watch out! Watch out, Mama's. Zane talked me into getting a like Persian style. Not real, because those are three grand. I didn't get a rug pad, and every website says you need a rug pad. Yeah. Like, do we though? It prevents it from moving. But so I have carpet tape. Why don't no, we put we that on each corner? Heavy ass furniture. We need to just get the wrinkles out first. Well, that's gonna happen over days, not right now. Yeah, but if we put like pieces of the couch over the heavy parts, it'll help. Yeah. It's definitely warm tone to a certain extent. There's, look, listen, like this is obviously, there's little bits of uh, cool gray. Yeah. Little bits and pieces of cool gray. It's nice quality. Very nice it's quality. Like it's soft. It's soft, yeah. But not chewy. Maybe. <laughs> That's, this side is darker than that side, huh? Yeah. Because this has more, like, warm tones, right, with the brown? Yeah. Let's or does it. it look like stains? No, it doesn't look like stains. Or is it stain? No, it's definitely different. Let's flip it. Okay. Stand right here and look at the tree. Don't even look at the rug, look at the tree. Yeah, The works. rug in the background, like here, just looks so good. But does it match this though? This is so warm. Do you know what I mean? But also our walls are cool. So it's I think a little, like a little bit of both is fine. Yeah, I think it looks good. All right, we like put on one piece at a time of the couch. Benji, hop out, come on. What do you think? Try to just lift it and then sit it flat on it so we don't bunch the rug. Oh, oh. Come apart? Well, I guess so. Okay. All right, we'll leave that as a place where we'll do this piece first. No, put the corner in. Okay. That's where you start. How do you start a puzzle? I don't fucking know. I don't do puzzles. Do you want to line it up with the back here? Because I think this is going to be further away then. Well, when, when I measure, there's going to be some fabric sticking out behind the couch. I think it should go against the rug. It's going to be so far away. Aww. You know, wait, also, wait, fuck. What? You're supposed to vacuum a rug as soon as you get it. Or. I was gonna say, cause I'm like, my rug is perfect, and your rug is still like crimped. I'm like, we gotta do my rug techniques here. What rug? The rug in your office is still like crimped a little bit. No, it's not. Oh, when you first walk in? Couch is dirty. <laughs> it's so gray. It is pretty gray, huh? <laughs> hmm. I mean, the size is better. That's a plus. I think if it was brown, it would look better. Yeah. Like you should have just went full on, not even like cream. Like, like brown. Full on brown. I, Cause I agree with you. I think it is too gray. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think it needed to be more brown. Like would you, would should we move, use it downstairs or would you want something totally different downstairs? Like checkered or something fun. Not checkered, but like, but like a fun, a fun rug. rug. How does the return process work? You said it was free. It we says, just roll it up? I guess we just fold it up and... Like tie it? Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to look on the website. <sighs> it's actually coming up much better on camera. Let me see. I turned the lights off too because I don't know why I feel like that would help. No, it looks better on camera. Yeah. But... <sighs> it should be more the color of that blanket. Exactly. Because look, if you minus... Look. Angle it like that. Yeah. That like, looks good, but the fact that we have such a dark wood. And I love that TV piece. Thing. I don't want to get rid of that piece. No. no. It's not a bad rug. It's, no, no, it's, it's nice. Gorgeous. It is. Not, it doesn't match. Family, yeah, it doesn't match here. These rugs are tough. That's why I wanted to play it safe with like a jute. Jute never has a cool undertone, you know? Yeah. This one looks better. All right. Well, we tried. All right. We're going to vacuum in here and then get it down. What if we both lift one hand each and then push it? Can we do that? Maybe, but there's the middle pieces, don't forget. I know, what if we lift high enough? There's not middle pieces right here. So if we just get it on behind these front two first, then we can do the middle. And then you can lift from the middle. Ready? Yeah. Oh, it'll look nice in here. Go. Tell me when you're gonna let it go. Good. All right, rug looks great in here. Makes it definitely more cozy. I'm gonna finish vacuuming the rest of the house. I just cleaned up all the junk that was in my office. Poor Zane is struggling from all the dust that we just encountered from everything. <laughs> he 
he's allergic to it literally so it's killing him we're not feeling this rug at all um and we said we would sit on it but i don't think we're gonna so we requested a refund and later when we muster up the courage we will fold it back up and we'll just deal with no rug until we find one that we like because it's just wrong it needs to match this that not what we were going for and i looked at the picture and honestly it looks a lot more warm tone in the picture it almost feels like they sent me the gray one on accident i don't know just gonna put these dishes away quick and then get into my bathing suits Brian will be here in a few minutes we'll go in the pool and then we haven't decided yet but we're either gonna get japanese or chinese which you know is my favorite so i'm excited but we're gonna lay out first hang out and then we'll go upstairs in the air conditioner you know <laughs> I do still have like a decent amount of prep to do before we leave tomorrow, but all of me and my friends are grandmas, so it works out. So we can like end it a little bit early so I can um, shower, I wanna put on tanner, I wanna pack, wrap up my vlog too. I like almost finished watching it back last night. My head was like bopping. Also, I threw the olive tree right there and I think it looks so cute that you can see it from the kitchen. It reminds me of Christmas time when we had the Christmas tree there. I loved that I was able to see it from the kitchen. It looks nice. And we got all fresh wax melts as well. So house will be smelling good. I've changed into my bathing suit. This is from Abercrombie. It's their Curve Love line and it just feels like so secure and comfortable. House is nice and clean. I got my Kindle, my phone, and my sippy ready for outside. All the dishes are put away. It smells nice in here with the wax smell. And I even cleaned my closet room. I, If I speed clean, I can do it quick. And we got the carpet in our bedroom too. It's looking a little sad right now, but don't judge her, okay? <laughs> You can like see everything out of the bed. This house is gonna be a work in progress for years. I'm sure a lot of you guys feel that way. Like when you get a house, it takes years and years and years and years to make it a home. And then you're like, eh, why don't we move? <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen to us. She was. The whole time. Aww. Oh. Him? Yeah. Than normal. Cause I said, quick little update. Just packed, had such a lovely day with my friend. We watched so many episodes. <laughs> I think we're on like episode eight now. We couldn't stop, so had to get ready real quick. So I just took a quick shower. I'm gonna put on some tanner just on my face just to keep it easy. Um, Zane and I just packed. We fit both of our stuff in a little carry-on. I used the Makeup Forever bag that I got for PR today for my makeup. I don't even know if I'm gonna end up putting any on, but worked out perfect. We are leaving at 5.45 in the morning. So I've got the Kindle charging. I've got my straightener here set up so I can wake up, sit on the floor and run a straightener through my hair real quick. Belly, that's so early in the morning. Road trip. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. It is the next day. I never ended the vlog last night. It is. 5.39 a.m. I'm just doing the brows real quick and we are off on our road trip to Aaliyah's college So I'm gonna end this vlog here. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys Which basically basically Crap There we go So what I'm sure you guys prefer Ow. You cut yourself? I thought I did. I stabbed the front of it right into my hand. Oh, shit. I just did it again while I was sure that. And I definitely did not snack on a marshmallow while I was cooking. I don't know why you guys would even think that. Sometimes you just want... Shush. Stepping on the box cutter. Oh, birth control time. They had me fill out like a form about my shades, so they the cats are playing in the boxes. So I just don't buy shit and just keep shit clean. First up, we got a towel and it says bride. That's upside down. First package is I wanted a pair of flip flops. Flip flops. First package is I wanted a pair of. Okay, we're off to a bad start today. We're turning it around right now. 